With a wingspan stretching over seven feet, the bald eagle, Haliaetus leucocephalus, soars above North America's rivers and coastlines. Once driven to the brink of extinction, today it stands once again as a living symbol of the wild freedom that shaped a continent. The bald eagle's name is a curious one. Not truly bald, of course, but crowned with a head of gleaming white feathers. Bald, in Old English, meant white. A fitting title for this magnificent raptor whose stark plumage contrasts against the deep greens and blues of its realm. In adulthood, the bald eagle is unmistakable. A dark body cloaked in brown, crowned by a head of pure white, and a powerful yellow beak that hooks downward like a blade. The female, larger and more imposing, can weigh up to 14 pounds. The male, slightly smaller, is quicker in the air. Together, they form a formidable partnership. Yet, the young look nothing like their parents. Juveniles wear mottled brown plumage, a camouflage that conceals them among the branches and rocks. Only after four to five years do they don the proud white head of adulthood, a transformation, both literal and symbolic. From youth to sovereignty, fish are the lifeblood of the bald eagle's diet. With eyesight eight times sharper than our own, it can spot a salmon's glint from over a hundred feet above the surface. A sudden dive, talons strike the water like spears and rise again, clutching a shimmering prize. Not always the hunter, sometimes the opportunist. The bald eagle is known to steal a fish from the talons of an osprey or feast on carrion left by others. The bond between two eagles is powerful. They mate for life. They build their nests, or aries, high in the tallest trees. Year after year, breeding pairs return, adding new branches, strengthening the structure until it can weigh over a ton. Together, they raise their young, one to three chicks, at a time. For 10 to 12 weeks, both parents hunt and guard the nest. The chicks grow quickly, shedding down for feathers, flapping wings in awkward practice until, one day, they leap into the void, learning to master the wind.